Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to use animation and keyframes to animate parameters based on the timeline. It doesn't affect real-time features, but it helps you to have animated parameters alongside other parameters. To start, I want to use a rectangle. For example, let's change the resolution. Make it smaller. And make a copy of it. Then composite them. Connect these two rectangles to the top and change the operation to XOR. Now I have something like this. To start animating, double click and go to the comp tab and add an animation. Now you can edit the animation. Here you will see the parameters to animate. And this is the timeline. I'll come back to this, but for now, I want to show you how to set the parameters. For example, go to the parameters of one of the rectangles and select one of the parameters you want. For example, I want to animate the center x-axis. Right click on it, keyframe parameter in. If you click on animation keyframe animation 1, it will create start and end keyframes for this parameter. You will see the name here rectangle and center x-axis. But let's add another parameter, like the center x-axis for the other rectangle. Again, right-click, keyframe parameter in, animation 1. Okay, now I have two parameters to animate. If you click on them, you can see their lines. And if you hold control and click, you will see both of them. And you can lock them with these pink rectangles to compare them without touching the other parameters. To delete a parameter, you have to click on the arrows icon here and go here and delete it. Okay, let's add it again to the animation. Now to add keyframes, you have to press Alt to see the yellow lines and click on the line. A new keyframe is added, and like other timeline editors in other applications, you have handles here to control the shape of the change. To control this, you have fields here. 
For example, I want to bring it to frame 100 and the value. Let's find a proper number. Turn it back to constant to check proper numbers. OK, for example, 0 0.3. Let's turn on the animation again for both. OK, now I can change the value to 0.3 at frame 100. And I have this keyframe here. If I pause the timeline, you can see the outer rectangle moves based on the shape of this line and gets back to the default at the end. But if you want to do it in just some part, Ctrl plus Z, add another one. For example, at frame 140. Now I can give them the value. Look, I right-click and select both of them to give the number, then press Enter. To remove the curves here, you can use the function, or add other keyframes and bring them under the previous keyframes. And again, set the value to the default. And now my animation is like this. You can click on the keyframes, select the handles, and press T to break the handles. And now you can control them separately. Now I can select both of them, and see them in one window so I can edit them together. With this, you have full control over the parameters based on the timeline.
Also, you can select some keyframes and change the function to change the shape of the curves. So, for example, this one. To change functions, you can select one of the lines, click on the name, and if I change the function to, for example, linear, you can see it removed any curve I had. Let's do this for this one again. And you can see I no longer have this curve here because I had no keyframes. And I set it like this with the handles here. These three are for the visual grid in the background. And they help you find proper numbers and work with the numbers here. And you have extra options here for the X and Y axis. For example, if I put 0.5 here, it sets up like this. And you can see these medium grids are from 0 to 0.1. So, for example, I enter this somewhere here, and I have my keyframe set up to 0.1. Okay. This is it for now, and you have the start and end frames here. That is basically touch designer timeline. And it starts over. And you have the timeline options here start frame and end frame. The first line is the full range, and the start and end are the selected range, like this. And there's another option named range. Go to the animation parameters range tab and change the type to custom. Let's make the full range timeline the default, 1 to 600. When I enable this custom here and set trim left and right to cycle, you have these yellow frames here and here. And I can define a loop here just with this animation, repeating through the whole timeline. You can animate every parameter with this, like switches and faders, etc. And this was the basics of the animation comp. 
I'll hear your comments. Thank you for watching. See you later.